don't mean you go swimming in the nude, too. No. Bowling. <laughs> you bowl naked? Not completely. They make me wear those little red and green shoes. <laughs> Welcome Good back. Stuff. Roz good. Russell was the hilarious bailiff in the sitcom Night Court. And nearly 30 years after the show ended, it was brought back to life in a reboot. So to tell us all about the hit show then and now, Marsha Warfield joins us live. Marsha yeah. Warfield. Yeah, Marcia. Yeah. Hi, how are you? We are so excited. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm a comic by trade, so I'm a comedy nerd. So I've been following your career. And I, I have to ask you, this is like an insider thing for me. When you were originally cast as Roz for the original Night Court, uh, did, the, did the writers have an idea for like Roz's personality? Or did you just walk in there and just kind of create that character? And they were like, oh, this is who the show's going to be. Well, I had nothing to do with it. I just showed up. And uh, <laughs> I got there under such unfortunate circumstances that nobody knew what they were going to do. We, the uh, cast had just lost their second bailiff, Florence Hallett, uh, and the original uh, female bailiff was Selma Diamond, and both passed away pretty much over hiatus. And mm. so it was just like, uh, you know, they didn't know if I was just going to fill in for one show or if I was going to be picked up for the run of the series. So, no, we had no idea what was going to happen. Wow. wow. Well, Night Court was rebooted and you have been in a couple of episodes. What was it like stepping back onto the set and also working with John Larroquette again? Oh, it was a bit of a family reunion. Aww. It's like going home, you know, it was like going home after being away for a while and messing up your life and needing to come back and, <laughs> you know that kind of thing so they welcome me with open arms they uh it's a family and uh, this is like going back uh, to your your kids hmm. house you know there it's it's your family but they're doing their own thing now hmm. well we're happy to have you back we're happy to have you here the season two finale of night court reboot revolves around Roz. so can you tell us yeah. a little bit about that episode well, Roz is uh, getting married, Ooh. and uh, uh, unfortunately, her wedding venue falls through, and she has to uh, find another venue right away quick, and so um, Abby, Abby Cadabra uh, <laughs> Stone, uh, volunteers to uh, let her have it in in the courtroom. That's in what you courthouse. did. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you oh, got to do yeah, it. Listen, that's how Jeffrey did it. That's the future. Yes. <laughs> I suggest it. I said you were ahead of your time. <laughs> now I can say me yeah. and Roz. Me yeah. and Roz. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, hopefully we're going to have a, you know, we can take it further with you know, Roz, the spinoff. Oh. And uh, we'll get to meet Roz and, and uh, her wife, uh, adoption of new kids and stuff. I don't know where we're going to go with it. Put but it out game. there. I yeah. like it. I like yes. it. I like that. That's awesome. Uh, Marsha, I wanted to ask you that many people know you for your stand-up comic, in including our some of our YouTube chatters saying they've seen you in Vegas and all that. What was it like doing stand-up as a woman in the 70s? I had no other choice, and so I did the best I could and made it up as I went along. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, keep that tradition going. That's the that's how I identify. I am a stand-up comedian. I like it. So um, that's why instead of writing a book, I'm uh, developing my one-woman show as the Book of Marsha, and it's autobiographical stand-up with music and video and uh we're doing it at ne netflix is a joke <gasps> yeah and uh, we're hopefully hope gonna do it as a special uh, and uh, sometime later this Good year. For That's a great, great, great area. Wow. We look forward to watching it. So speaking of stand-up, are there certain comedians that you looked up to or were influenced by for your stand-up? Uh, stand-up, yeah, there are so many of them. I mean, uh, uh, you can't <laughs> You can't not say Moms Mabley when you talk about yes. um, stand-up comedians, especially black women. She was the only one mm. um, forever. And then uh, when I came up, uh, Shirley Hemphill was doing stand-up and uh, work, got on uh, What's Happening. And um, Della Reese was a big influence. Mm -hmm. A lot of my influences weren't just stand-ups. They were the funny women, women who were able to be funny. As a little girl, I identified with the, the slow burn of Eve Arden. 
and um, I started watching all of the the comedians, uh, you know, Tony Fields, uh, Carol Burnett, mm -hmm. Lucy Obama, you know, going to going to be influenced by them. How was I not going to be influenced by Richard Pryor right. and, and Red Fox and, wow. and Dick Gregory? And so I had a lot of comedy heroes. Incredible. And I'm sure you're a hero love to many. I just love that all stand-ups are really just nerds for comedy that happen yes. to also do it. Like I just, I remember my friends found a George Carlin tape in my, and I was so embarrassed. I was like, that's my dad's. But I was just listening <laughs> to it because I just love comedy as a kid. So I get it. Well, I understand I you. go back to to minstrelsy and Ada Overton Walker, who was the first black woman to be a comedic performer in show business uh, back in the 1920s or so. And so, uh, yeah, I'm a big comedy, comedy nerd. I love it. love it. Marsha, congratulations. Thank you for joining us on DBL. To our viewers, you can see Marsha in the season two finale of Night Court next Tuesday on NBC. Thank you again. We'll be right back. Thanks, Marsha. Thanks. Thank you.